What up boys and welcome back to another video. So in today we've got another episode in the series How Good Is It? So we've already featured the main letter of the expansion, the Boreen letter. So now we're moving on to the special letter and scales. And in today's video we're talking about Jormunger scales. So I decided to do it in this cave in uh, Storm Peaks right here because it's the best spot for me to do that I haven't done the super long ass quest chain in Storm Peaks to kill the mobs at the like this place right here, like right next to the Brunhilder village, so... But it's a, it's a decent farm though, like you're gonna be killing, obviously, the Jormongers, because you want the Jormonger scales. Uh, but there's also a bunch of wolves inside the caves, like the Jormonger and the wolves are kind of fighting. Uh, but that means you just get a, a bunch of, uh, like, Boreen leather as well as the Jormonger scale from also skinning the wolves, which you should do. And also the, uh, the Arctic fur. But as you guys can see, like... The, uh, the density in this cave is it's not that bad, and uh, you're constantly respawning, like you're never going to run out of mobs. I tried different caves, I did this cave for instance, which is decent in terms of uh, like Jormonger spawns, but uh, they, don't, they don't respawn, it takes like 5 minutes plus. Uh, I think it was between 4 to 7 minutes or something like that for like a full respawn, it was really messed up, so that farm didn't work out. So uh, that's why I decided to end up in this cave. So you just roam this cave. When it comes to a class, it doesn't really matter. You're going to be indoors. So I use my monk because my monk is slightly faster than my slow ass druid. Uh, but like, there's no open world farm. So it doesn't matter if you have the booster or not to fly around. It doesn't matter if you have a druid, for instance, flight form. Just get whatever tune you have with skinning and you're going to be, uh, you're going to be good to go. So, uh, Jormunger scale, after doing this cave, like just running back and forth in this cave for an hour, I was actually really unlucky with the amount of arctic fur, because I only managed to get three of them, which is not good, like, I should have, I would have averaged, like, I've done this farm in the past and I've gotten way more than three arctic furs, so, but I did end up getting 124 Jormunger scales, and 692 Borean leather, so, with like the market value of Jormunger scale is insane, like 82,000 gold for these 124. On my realm, it will be 9.5k gold. Uh, Arctic fur it would be 1,000 gold in my realm. And Borean leather has an insane market value. Like, I'm not going to be able to sell a stack for 15,000 gold. It's actually extremely low right now in my realm, at just 3 gold. But normally, as you can see, I bought almost 6,000 Borean leather. And um, the average price is 7.5, the highest 16.9. So if we uh, if we go with the 7.5, we're looking at 1.5k a stack on my realm. So that's another like 4.5, well actually like 5,000 gold in Berean letter. And then a 10k in Jermunger scales. Keep in mind, Jermunger scale is a special letter and it's not needed by for like a lot of items so it's not selling super fast it's just one of those items that you should have up with the auction house at all times so that was pretty much it for jormunger scale it is uh it is similar to a lot of the other how good is it skinning farms that we've done like on paper it can give you a really good gold per hour but it takes a while to sell so it's not something you can just do for like hours upon hours because you're not going to be able to move it as fast as you were able to uh, to farm it, uh, but yeah, that was it for the uh, Jormunger skill. So we're gonna move on to the next farm, and thank you guys so much for watching as always. And I will see you all in the next video. Until then, bye bye.